Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about the strongest creation Allah ever created. Who is that? Let us investigate through Quran and Hadith. First, I will take you to Surah Fatir, verse 1. Quran chapter 35, verse 1. All praise is due to Allah, creator of heavens and the earth, who made the angels messengers having wings, two or three or four. He increases in creation what he wills. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. Very simple. Allah created the angels with wings, two or three or four. Now, let us go to Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 4856. I will just go to the last part of the hadith. Ibn Masud narrated to us that the Prophet had seen Gabriel with 600 wings. Way more than just two or three or four. That's why many Muslims actually assume that Jibril must be very, very huge because of the six hundred wings. Right? Now let us continue to Jami at Trimidi. Hadith number 3132, narrated Ibn Buraidah. The messenger of Allah said, when we reached Bait al-Maqdis, Jibreel pointed with his finger causing a crack in the rock, and he tied al burak to it. This is during Isra Mi'raj. And as you can see here, how powerful Jibreel is. Just by pointing his finger, he can cause a crack in the rock. He didn't even touch it. And now, combining this hadith with the previous hadith I showed you, 600 wings, a lot of people say Jibreel is one of the strongest, which is true because according to Christianity traditions in Christianity and Judaism, Gabriel is an archangel, including Michael. Right? And also in Islam, it's the same. Pretty much, pretty much the same. Mikhail, they don't call. I don't think they call them archangel, but they recognize the strength in some of the angels, like Mikhail, Gabriel, uh, Israfel. Now, let me take you to this video. It's a it's a Muslim channel here. I love you, Allah. I'm not going to play the video, but you should watch it, actually. It's pretty funny. It's four minutes, only four minutes and 22 seconds. So it's pretty short. Luckily, I can show you eight key moments in this video. And I will explain these moments, like uh, the the key moments, right? First, after the horn has blown, the angel of death blew uh, blow the uh, the horn, and then everybody everybody will die, everyone will die, including regular angels. Every living being will die. Your dog will die. Your cat will die. All angels also will die, except the archangels. Quran and Hadith never mention the name of angel of death. However, Muslim scholars, most Muslim scholars and Maulanas and the Ulanas and whatnot, agree upon the name, that the name is Azrael or Azrael. Now, after the horn sound, um, after the angel blow the horn, the angel of death, Allah asked, Who remain? And then the angels of death says, it's your honorable face, O Allah. 
me, your slave, Jibril, Israel, and Mikael. And Allah says, take the soul of Mikael. And Mikael dies. And then Allah will ask again, who remained? And he answered again, Israfil, Mikhail, oh, your honorable face, Israfil, Mikhail, and myself. And then Allah says, take the soul of Israfil. And he does. He kills him. And then Allah will ask again, who remains? Then the angel of death answers. Your honorable face, O Allah, Jibril, and I. Allah says, take the soul of Jibril. And then Jibril dies. And then face hit the ground. And then, he asks again, who remained? Allah asks again, who remained? I don't know what's wrong with this Allah, you know? You know who remains. Well, I keep asking, but anyway, let's pretend we believe. The angel of death says, your honorable face and I. And then, Allah says to him, to take your, his own soul, to commit a suicide, basically. Allah told angel of death, death to commit suicide, pretty much. And then he will die. So the angel of death is believed to be the strongest among the four. Even stronger than Jibril, because he could kill Jibril. A lot of Muslims assume the angel of death is the strongest one. But is that true? Is that true that the angel of death is the strongest out of four archangels? I don't think so. Why? Let us take a look at this Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith number 1339. Narrated Abu Hurairah. The angel of death was sent to Moses and then... And when he went to him, Moses slapped him severely, spoiling one of his eyes. The angels of death went back to his Lord and said, You send me to a slave who does not want to die. Well, as if someone wants to die. And anyway, um, Allah restored his eye, his eye and said, Go back and tell him to place his hand over the back of an ox, for he will be allowed to live for a number of years equal to the number of hairs coming under his hand. So angel, uh, the angel came to him and told him the same. Then Moses asked, Oh my Lord, what will be then? He said, Death will be then. He said, Let it be now. I will stop there. So look at this. Moses slapped the angel of death severely, spoiling one of his eyes. Can you, can you believe this story? And this story is by Al-Bukhari. Collected one of the, the stories collected by the genius, according to Muslims, the genius Al-Bukhari. Imam Bukhari. Can you believe this? So, in conclusion, when we read all this hadith, the strongest creation is Moses. Right? Is Moses. That's very strange, right? Well, it is not Islam if it's not strange. And stupid. I do understand, and sometimes when I say stupid, maybe some of you are Muslim here, 
you get you feel hurt but trust me i will only speak the truth even you actually i know you admit that the story is kind of stupid well any of this story even even surah fatir is a little bit weird you know i don't know what why would an angel has three wings three wings is this angel or fish i don't know what what do you mean three wings you like two on two on the sides and then one in the middle on the back or something i don't know again when we read something like this we have to start to think if you're a muslim you should evaluate what you believe you have to take a moment stop doing the rituals look at the belief what islam actually teaches there is one craziness after craziness it's a non-stop craziness you know when when you do the, the rituals you don't see anything only one part of islam i agree when even the story is also stupid but anyway when when jibril came to muhammad and say ikra read and i want muslims to do the same read and then i hope well hopefully after that you will start thinking to think anyway that's all from me for tonight thank you for listening and watching if you are muslim god bless you if you are christian god bless you have a nice life good night